How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on this WFL3 aluminum snare and WFL3 maple snare. If you've been playing drums for any time at all, then you probably already know that Ludwig is one of the most iconic names in all of drums, well over a hundred years of history. WFL stands for William F. Ludwig, and the three is for the third. His father and grandfather before him were at the forefront of drum invention and drum technology, and they were there for the start of rock and roll, so many great points in drum history. Now, William F. Ludwig has made his own drums now, and they are really cool, so let's get into the details. I'm gonna start first off with the drum over here on my left. Six and a half by 14, aluminum shell. Killer powder coated with a black metal flake finish, a nice black look, nice chrome hardware. Now the shell is an eighth inch thick or three millimeters if you like the metric system. Laser cut edges, so they're not too sharp. The head seats on perfectly. Also the snare bed is laser cut, so it feels really good under the hands. Got a great snap to it. Let's play it, shall we? Nice and loud, definitely cuts. Great sensitivity from the edge to the center, and it's got a big fat tone. Sometimes aluminum shells can be a little bit harsh, a little bit cracky, but this has like the best of both worlds. It cracks, but it is warm as well. This drum can be played in any style of music for sure. Heavy metal, it's loud, it cuts. Regular pop and rock and roll for sure. You can tune this down a little bit, give it a little more of a warm sound, and it'll be a great jazz drum. And before this video is over, I'm gonna tune it down a lot give it a big fat thuddy sound, and the playout music you'll hear on this video will have the drum at that tuning. Now before I get into the hardware on both of these drums, because the hardware is similar on each, let's talk about this maple drum in front of me. It's three plies thick, old school technology there. You have maple on the outside, the outside veneer is maple. The middle ply is poplar and the inside ply is mahogany. That's a great combination because you get the warmth of mahogany, the kind of punch and crack of poplar, and the middle of the road sound of maple all in one drum. It also has reinforcement rings on the inside to keep that shell nice and sturdy. I'm going to play this one right now. It's a nice big fat warm tone, but it's different than the aluminum because it's wood. You can definitely get to all styles of music with this drum as well. It'll rock, it'll pop, it'll jazz, it'll funk, it'll fusion, whatever you need. Both of these drums are incredibly versatile. So now what I wanna do is play the drums together in just sort of a normal setting. I'll play a simple pop groove and you can hear both drums with the whole kit. Definitely sits on top of the whole drum kit. I have these killer peisty big beat cymbals. They're big and loud and brash, and these snare drums sit right in the middle of all of this sound. Really cool. Turn the snare wires off, give you a sound of these drums with no snare wires going. Beautiful musical tone with these drums when their snare wires are off. All right, it's time for the hardware. Now, since the hardware is the same on both drums, I'll just show you the hardware here on the aluminum drum. Great triple flanged hoops. Again, really nice side stick sound, great for the back beat. Nice classy looking lugs on these drums with the three stamped in them, and they're also direct threaded so there's no springs inside the lugs. Really cool. The strainer and throw off are really cool from Trick Percussion, the GS007. You get three snare wire positions, one, two, three, really easy to use, and you can adjust the snare wire with the knobs right here. 
Now I'm going to take the heads off both the drums so I can show you guys the insides of the shells and the edges. The head is now off of this beautiful maple drum and the inside of the shell is just gorgeous. The edges here are a little bit rounded on the back side into the 45 degree on the inside and again they're laser cuts, they're perfectly flat. On the inside of this particular drum is a badge. He made 50 of these limited edition drums and this is number two of 50. Also on the inside of every drum, William F. Ludwig signs each one. Now here is the aluminum drum with the head off. Again, beautiful shell on the inside. The black powder coating with the metal flake is also on the inside of the drum. The edge on this drum is gonna be different than the maple drum because it's a, just one sheet of aluminum. So it's a little bit rounded, but since it's laser cut, it's flat, it's not sharp, it will not damage a head at all. The head seats on just perfectly. On the inside of this drum, just like the maple one, William signs the drum, it's really beautiful. And also the vent hole in this particular drum is pretty special. It has the three right here, not your typical round vent hole. It's a cool visual feature and the air just shoots out as the drum tone. Before I finish off this video today, I wanna to encourage you to check out the text below the video. There you'll find descriptions of all the gear I'm using. Cymbals, hardware, sticks, headphones, computer interface, even all the gear I'm using to make the music that I'm playing along with and you'll have links to all of that gear as well. There you have it everybody, two great snare drums from William F. Ludwig III, WFL3 maple drum and WFL3 aluminum drum. Great drums, work in all kinds of styles of music and I really encourage you to check them out. If you want any more information about these drums, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.